everyone, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Earthbound. I'm Nut735. I'm Silver Zircon, and don't try and steal my intro again. I'm not stealing your intro, I'm working with you. It's my intro. So yeah, Ethan Rod is not here at the moment, so we're just doing this one on our own this time. Yeah. So what we're so what Silver brought up in the last episode is we're going to take a boat to a place where we're going to have a boss battle. I believe it's the island of Scaraba. Scaraba, I believe. So yes, we're going to take a boat, and when do we take on the final boss? Um, where to your sanctuary, a boss. Where to your sanctuary, we have two your sanctuary locations left. Uh, let's see, from that we have one, two, three, look at all the boats, oh wait, they're gone, Four, and there's the islands, five, six, I'm getting seasick watching this, seven, I'm taking at least eight more bosses. Wait, wait. Why do we need to stop the boat? The captain feels a little bit seasick. Huh, I know the feeling. I've never got seasick. Oh, and let's just say you don't want to. I usually take a certain pill before I go out on the sea that prevents seasickness. I never get car sick either. Car sick is a whole different thing. Just don't read in the car while you're... What? I read in the car all the time. Well, yeah, just for not for long distances, though. It will make you car sick. I've never been car sick. That's exactly what I said. Oh my god, what the... It's a crackhead! It's a boss battle. This was the boss battle you were talking about. Yes. Well, it's time for us to take down ourselves a giant sea monster. That's true, he does a giant sea monster. You ever read the legends about the Kraken? Not really. It's actually from Greek mythology, and it was also in Pirates of the Caribbean. We now have a psychic shield around us. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't have any major weaknesses that I can exploit. Uh, so I'll just freeze it. Constantly. Well, we're in the water, so that might actually help. You know that doesn't factor into this. Oh, right. Oh, my, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Holy crud! We're all on fire! You got a mortal damage! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Save me, Tom Cruise! Save me, Tom <laughs> Cruise! Lord. What's Tom Cruise have to do with this? Talladega Nights. Ah. Oh, and I'm... I'm dead. Holy crap! She's taking quite a while up! Rod is dead. So we're just gonna sit in the water and drown, shall we? Yep. <laughs> oh no, an evil kraken. It's the evil kraken. Now Chibi is dead. What do we do? What do we do? Bag of Dragonite. Dragonite? I was the only one left! It Level took you five. that long to figure out we need Dragonite? Yay, I got my uh, my more powerful drill. And uh, then it just took you that long to figure out we need the Dragonite for that. I was saving the Dragonite for an event. Something like this. <sighs> Good thing I did save it. Be lucky if Rod is not here or else he'd kill us. <laughs> kill you. Because you held that information. And kill me just for the sake of killing me. Don't worry, we'll get another bag of Dragonite soon. Okay. That have to be before the next Let's Play or he's gonna kill us both. 
Don't worry. We won't tell them that we use the bag of Dragonite. Let's see. Ooh, where are you? So what? Hello, we need medical treatment for three. Actually, hold on. There should be a long enough stretch here. Wait, don't... <laughs> Go figure, I run into a tree. <laughs> that would be a... Oh, hey, it's Mr. T in a... Don't... Yamaka. Don't... Say it. It's Mr. T! Yamaka. Or, no, wait, that's a... Nope. Crap. Great Crested Buka. Hello, Bukas. And I'm screwed. Yes, you are. Unless I can run away right now. Whoo! So run away. I did. Now, teleport to Southern Valley. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm just terrible at this. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> and I'm eating popcorn while watching this. Okay. Success. Success. We're now at Southern Valley. Popcorn. And I only have one HP. Yeah, perjury. Yeah, this is the closest to death that we've came without actually achieving death. Well, if you want to bring that up, we've actually come close to death off-screen, too, remember? Oh, that's true. I think the total of on-death... Right? On-screen uh, deaths? On-screen deaths, we have three. Yeah. Total death count that we've had off-screen and on-screen? I think we're only up to six. Yes. Oh, do you remember that one part where we had those camera... That gamma guy all over the place? Four flipping times? Yes. Alright, so yeah, let's spread around our goods here. Broken bazooka. And let's stay another night so we can get the bazooka running, huh? Alright. Yeah, we could use that bazooka though. Yeah, and I'm giving the bottle rocket to UFM Rod, finally. Alright, let's stay one more night so we can repair them for us, shall we? Repair at least some of the items. Come on, you old genius. Nope. Did not repair it. Okay. Let's oh, teleport. No. Status. Oh, his IQ is 37. Okay. Right. Let's go. We'll teleport back to... Uh, We'll teleport back to Scaraba. Alright. Using teleport beta because I don't try. Just using teleport alpha here. It's about time now. It's to Scarab. Scaraba. <laughs> Pineapple! You know it is actually possible to fail that. Alright. Welcome on. to the land without in. Pay close attention because you won't be here long. Sorry, I need to pick up something. Hey, Mr. T! How's it going, Mr. T? There has to be an ATM around here somewhere. I'm afraid not. We're out in the middle of a desert that looks like Saudi Arabia. I think they based this off Saudi Arabia or the Middle East. Because look at the writing. Yeah. I'm afraid they're. Oh, mummy bandages. Wait, there are mummies here? They must have based it off Egypt. Something like that. Hmm. 
Well, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be an ATM here. Yeah, let's check the hotel. That's the last place we can check. ATM! Hallelujah! Is it weird that I've never that I've been so happy to see an ATM? <laughs> Actually, no, because I'm quite happy to see an ATM as well. Okay. If I could control my character, I'd be having him kiss the ATM right now. I am strange. Yes, you are. But I am proud to admit it. Okay. Welcome to the land of snakes. I am gonna get this piggy nose. Okay. You're gonna give it to Piggy? Porky. Porky. Well, he is a piggy. Hmm. Hold on a second. I need to move one piece of goods out of his inventory so I have something to work with. Platinum band for F and Ron. And a crystal charm for him. Why are we giving F and Ron a crystal charm? Because he only has a great charm. Okay. Alright. Alright. Scared about delicacies. Scout the delicacies. Don't do that. He's a snake charmer. He's selling snakes in a bag. Oh my god. That's cruelty to animals. Seasoning for foods. Hmm, I could use some spices. There's ketchup packets, sugar packets, coat. Tin of cocoa, curtain of cream, sprig of parsley, jar of hot sauce, salt packet, and still, no, I'm not doing the the rock candy technique, no. the rock candy cheat. No, why not? Let's see what Mr. T is selling. What are we? Snake, what? viper, and. Vial of serum. Why would we buy a snake? Uh, the viper can poison. The snake does damage, and and the serum recovers you from poison. We could always get a viper. Nah. You got to be kidding me! <laughs> this is the middle of the desert! How do you even find us? I blame you for this. I blame you. What did I do? Alright. He's obsessed with you, so therefore it is your fault. We're gonna go to the pyramids next part because we've been pretty much screwing around on this entire episode. Okay, so until then, we'll see you all later. We're not ending yet. We're not. A chubby kid did his business up somewhere out here. So that means he's been here. Yeah. Parky stink hangs in the air. Hmm. He was here. That means only one thing. Uh, we must stop him. Yeah. He has the smell of used kin bars. Alright, we'll save the going out into the desert for next part. Alright, so we'll see y'all later. Bye bye. Later. <laughs>